Oh. Oh, I think it's working. Haha. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of people around here all of a sudden. I told you, don't go out in places where there's no people, it's dark. Dangerous. It's what? Dangerous. Cool. Hello, Tony Babies. Welcome to another episode. Tonight's video is going to be at night. <laughs> Hello Tony Babies and welcome to Victoria at night. I thought I would come down to Victoria here in the night, show you some of the sights and sounds of Victoria here. That will be in another video which I'll put out at some point. Tonight's video was a trip that me and Tony took from Cebu to Pahol. We've got a lot of great footage of the temples and uh, Magellan's Cross in Cebu. And then we sailed across to Pahol, where we stayed at Hanan Resort. We got some footage of the trip in between when we took the ferry. Uh, I never put it in any of the videos. I just didn't really have a place to put it. So I thought, yeah, I'll throw it in this video. It's just me and Tony chatting about the ferry, talking about the ferry, and being on the ferry and taking the ride over to behold it's nice footage actually it turned out pretty good and the audio is pretty good so uh you're gonna get a chance to see it and hear tony talking about the fast cat ferry from cebu to behold as always if you like our channel give us a thumbs up and share with your friends and family and help us grow our little channel to something bigger tony is on the phone with me right now and she's being a terrible director i won't show you because you're in your pjs right now so <laughs> okay. okay, love you. A little bit more times 100 infinity. Okay, and say I love you to our Tony Baby fans. I love you, it's Tony Baby fans. <laughs> Very good. Okay, talk to you later, sweetie. because the travel is so far and the resort that we want to book is actually fully booked right now so we decided to book another resort which is a lot better than Bantayan so we're going to Henan Resort it's so pretty I'm going to show you that later and then we are going to ride not a plane but a boat a fast crap meaning it's a fast, the fastest way you can go to Cebu and we choose Super Cat and I, since I am a very dizzy person, I get dizzy easily so me and Mark is battling on what kind of seat we are getting so I won, that's why we got a business class <laughs> I don't know if it was that much of a fight <laughs> well not really but we he asked me what I want, he wants the economy because I, I don't know what I want but I do know that business class is great based on my research on YouTube and she did a lot of research I did, I did a lot of research so we're getting a business class, it will leave at 1 um, it's actually double the price of the economy class but it's fine it's about... Um... Let's see if this works <laughs> We have to head it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about, it works out to be about, well, it's 20 bucks for the business class, Canadian each, uh, versus the economy class, which was about 10 bucks a person. The, the, the business class has nicer seats, bigger space, more space, more, better, well, I already said bigger seats, didn't I? Restroom. What's that? Own restroom. Uh, own restroom, air conditioning. Everything else, I figured for the extra ten bucks, it's a two-hour ride. One hour. Is it only an hour? Yeah. I, th I think it's about an hour and a half. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. About an hour and a half. Anyways, it's not too long. It's probably worth the upgrade. Hopefully, we took the bus from Porta Princesa to El Nido. 
the red cherry bus, which was a very nice bus, and the seats were big and comfortable, and lots of room in there, but boy, was the ride ever buff, rough and bumpy. Uh, it was like being on a roller coaster ride. You're bounced to the left, bounced to the right. So hopefully business class here, the extra money we're paying for this is a nice smooth ride. Jordan. <laughs> exactly. Well, I think it will be. Yeah. I think it will be a worded ride because the seat is nice. Plus, it's upstairs and probably most of the people are choosing the economy or the tourist class, but probably we are alone inside the business club. <laughs> but we will gonna tour you what are the difference between the business class and the economy class. So you can. Burger. That is Mark. He is now editing. Because we got a table. And we got another seat there. Another seat here. And it has a lot of leg room. At least for me. And then all the middle seats were empty. And that is the bath, the restroom over there. And then the AC outside of this is the tourist class and it's really really nice here plus the weather is so nice going to sleep for now. Isn't it cool? Isn't it amazing to be on the business class? So if you're coming to Bohol or Cebu and you uh, you can you can also ride a business class. Uh, well, it's double the price, but it's better. It's a lot 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 better. More comfortable. No it's, it's silent here. Oh, you can talk, but since no more, not, not more, most of the customer or passengers are doing economy class, so it's a lot better. And if you're a dizzy person just like me, this is the best seat for you. So I'm going to sleep. Till next time, and watch me when I arrive in. Arrive in what? Bye. This is a good time to do some editing because we got about an hour and a half before we get to Tagalaran. <laughs> I'm not as good at this as you are. So where are we? We just left Cebu and actually you know what? The seas look pretty nice today. It's all nice and smooth. We just took off from the port. And we got the business class, which was actually quite nice. It's nice and cool in here. We got a table. We actually have a table ourselves. That's one of the reasons I can edit right now is because I've got an hour and a half to kill so I can do some video editing. So this is quite comfortable, actually. I think most people are in the economy class downstairs. I was having a look at the, the board over there with the map of the ship. And like the entire bottom is all like economy class. And then I think this is tourist class up here, which is open air which is a little bit more bigger seats and then of course there's the business or the not the business class but, but no the, air con no air con for tourist class oddly enough but there is air con for the economy class <laughs> there's down they're downstairs yeah they're down in the basement but there. the good thing about here is that it's quiet there's nobody here i mean there's one there's two seven. three there's four couple four couples up here me <laughs> me and you and three other couples in a big boat so i think it was worth the extra and I don't think I know it was worth the extra we're ten not bucks. Even sitting on the seat, on the right. I think it belonged to these people. Oh, they're, they're already trapped. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. You see, it's freaking empty here. Yeah. And there's TV. Nobody wants to watch TV because we love the silence. We do. We enjoy the silence. The silence. So Mark, we have their own, and I can do like this, occupying many seats. 
one and also that those are all bags there. <laughs> they have their own seat. And yeah, again. look at this. They're building a bridge or something. Yeah, it looks like a bridge there. I guess. Maybe to go to uh, what's the island on the other side there? Nocten Island. Nocten Island. Island. Yeah. Do they have it? Well, they do, but they probably need more bridges. <laughs> How, is this a good look for me? Is this better than the sunglasses here and the eyeglasses here? You look like an alien, dude. <laughs> Welcome look, to Earth. You look like a Robocop. Welcome to Earth. Okay, so. I'm going to get back to video editing. <laughs>